Hey guys, welcome to the stage. Welcome everyone. I am happy to be back. We had a bit of a hiatus there, and this time I'm going solo. Uh, Francois is not here, but he should be joining us at some point in time. Not sure when exactly, uh, but shout out to him if he's listening. And today I just wanted to do a quick one and talk about something quite specific that might actually be common, and I'm going to be talking about injuries. And you may wonder why I'm talking about this, uh, because I have been injured for a bit, uh, but I'm still playing and just going to break it down um, in the steps that it sort of came to me because it is a recurring thing and I don't think it's easy to deal with. And I'm just going to, you know, lay it down on how I think it's best to deal with it or how it worked for me or how it's working out for me. So the first thing I'm going to go over is actually the process to recognize it because I don't think it comes till a, you, you recognize it essentially when it's too late. That's when the pain starts to settle in. So, you know, once you're injured, then what? And then, you know, the next thing that I'm going to be focusing on is once you understand the process, how do you stay consistent to sort of that getting better phase? And then third, we want to look at, you know, some prevention stuff maybe to prevent uh, being injured. Now, what I'm doing here is is quite specific to my instrument, but I think it can be applied to many things. This isn't the only injury that I've I've had. Um, I've had shin splints while I was running. And, um, you know, it's just been a part of, you know, the journey. As you, you know, go through life, stuff happens if you're really keen on practicing and maintaining a level repetitive movement sort of settles in and you know lo and behold you have a shin splint or tendonitis or whatever golfer's elbow tennis elbow so basically uh to summarize what i have it's basically in between my elbow and my wrist so my forearm on my left hand side when i hold my instrument up it gets quite sore rapidly or at least it used to and now I've been doing some consistent physiotherapy and I've also been going to swim, which has significantly helped me out. But before that stage, so now I'm in a place where it's a lot better. Uh, there's some principles that I've used when I'm injured um, to sort of keep going. And I think that's the most important thing for me. Now, I'm not suggesting to completely ignore the pain and just bulldoze your way through an injury because I don't think that would be quite smart. However, what I do think might be something to consider is coping with the pain and every step of the way trying to optimize your journey. So basically, maybe slowing things down, bringing them down to a bare minimum in terms of practicing or, or whatever is causing the pain or the injury so that the habit doesn't completely disappear. Uh, I know it sounds great. Well, you're injured. Why don't you just take a huge break for a year? Well, yes and no. And for me, that doesn't really work because, you know, I'm a professional musician and I depend on what I do. So I can't just stop playing. I have students to teach, performances to do. And, you know, I have auditions to prepare and I can't just sit and wait, you know, wait by until this thing gets fixed. So need to actively search for a solution and it can get quite overwhelming to be honest to keep this habit up regardless of the pain not knowing when it's gonna fade away and believe me it's it's been a recurring thing and it's just something that everyone has to deal with sooner or later so the the first step uh is to really accept it and understand that you are injured and you know come to terms with what it is and be very precise with the diagnosis like go to a professional or professionals to see what exactly is is causing it do a lot of trial and error like you know if you're playing and all of a sudden you get this cramp try and identify what what caused it do a lot of logging you know i'm very consistent with logging my practice hours and to understand this cause and effect because 
if you don't really understand what's causing the injury, well, you're going to have a tough time solving it. I mean, 50% of the problem is 50% of, or, or knowing the problem is 50% of solving the problem. I don't know if that was clear. Anyway, so that's the first step for me is to really understand what the heck is going on in your body and see the potential signs, the recurring patterns. Uh, what time of day does it happen? Uh, uh, is there a reason why it's happening? And once you get more and more information on the possible problem or injury that you have, uh, then it's it's time to start looking for solutions. And I say solutions because you're going to need everything you've got to plow through this, at least for me. Um, you know, I think it's nice if we find one solution and it fixes everything. But for me, my reality is that I had to try a lot of different things and I'm trying a lot of different things. So one of the, the great things for me right now is exercising. So I do a lot of swimming and I used to be really consistent on that, but the pandemic kind of put that on hold with swimming pools being closed down. And now it's like super important. I drive, you know, hundred kilometers twice a week uh, to go for a swim of, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, but it's just so important to be consistent and to get better for me. So, uh, that's one thing is to figure out a lot of solutions. The next thing I do is acupuncture physiotherapy and you really have to be determined and consistent and you definitely want to be living the healthiest possible life that you can, but not losing sleep over it. Uh, what, you know, it sounds like trying to be healthy, but you're losing sleep. What I mean is don't focus on the injury. It'll get better. Everything passes. And if you thought it was going to be solved quicker, well then, you know, you got to just be patient. Sometimes you got to restrain yourself and say, Hey, there'll be better times or indulge. You know, if you want, give yourself a reward program, like, Hey, if I'm consistently doing my injury exercises, stretching yoga, whatever it is, uh, reward yourself with like a, I don't know, a chocolate bar or an ice cream you know, something to log it. And, you know, speaking of logs, I think it is so tremendously helpful to log stuff. It just builds momentum like no other thing, at least in my, my opinion. And I'm saying this based on my experience. So that's the, the one part is once you have accepted that you're injured, uh, you definitely want to first slow down your cadence. You don't want to just rush into the next show, figure out solutions, consult a lot of professionals, do a lot of reading, a lot of, of understanding what provokes the irritation and keep the irritation to a minimum to clo to eradicate it and still be a professional or still perform or do whatever you're doing. If you're a tennis player or a sport, you know, runner, whatever, uh, you, you still have to keep running or keep going to keep that habit consistent. Uh, for me, if I stop everything altogether, uh, at least during an extended period of time, I'm not talking like one day or two. Uh, I'm talking like, you know, months at a time of not doing the regular thing that causes the pain, you might lose everything altogether. And then it, restarting uh, once you do get better might just seem too overwhelming. So that's the first step uh, of it. Now, the next thing that I like to talk about is, you know, maybe I didn't mention this before, but it just comes to me now. And I might, this is a really, by the way, this is unorganized. And I just thought, you know, hey, I'm going to throw this together because it's really important. And I don't think a lot of people talk about injuries, maybe on my end. Uh, most of the time in my lessons, we're talking about how to make music, how to improve technique and staying relaxed. But when an injury happen happens, uh, I don't really get a lot, uh, to be honest. I know of people and professionals who have had, who have been injured, uh, but no one really coaches you through the process and it's really intimidating. So the next thing that I want to talk about is being coached throughout. Uh, once you, you start to get these solutions, it's really to maintain an active routine, staying consistent, having a buddy system, someone to help you be accountable for your actions and really seeking professional help. 
And I know a lot of people aren't in, you know, a good place financially sometimes to dish out hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, to, you know, therapy or exercise or swimming pools. But quite frankly, if you don't invest in your health, then you can't even invest in, in your career. And, you know, it, it's not worth compromising your health to try and struggle to get far ahead with your career. That's just my experience. Uh, every time that I've tried to work harder at the expense of my health, I think it's almost without exception backfired on me. So, you know, here's a time where you call in chits, you know, you, you want to open up to friends and say, Hey, I'm not doing well. I'm feeling under the weather. Um, and I'm just having trouble getting through this injury. So that's a psychological aspect. Then professionally, you want to see someone who's, who's able to tackle it and say, you know, maybe consider placing your arm like this or consider moving your legs like this or consider stretching professional opinions and a lot of them, and then maybe compile them, log them, see which ones are successful after let's say a week or two and then repeat. So, you know, that's, that's the other thing. And the last thing that, you know, in conclusion that I'm going to come here, this is going really by real, real fast. But the last thing that I'd like to emphasize is, is the prevention. So as you're getting better, the word optimization comes to mind. The first word, because you're trying to relearn these habits that caused you the pain and they might be chronic at this point because you've been doing them for years and years and years. So you want to make sure that you're fighting it correctly. I mean, I think six weeks of therapy might not be enough for six years of trained uh, behavior of how to hold something or running poorly. So I think it's very important in the phases after in the recovery phases or well after the recovery phases to just consistently, even though there's no more pain to just be absolutely sure that you're, you're in line with how you want to do things and that you're not getting the pain that, that you, you were once getting. So for me, um, the most important thing is being consistent after and, and just really being mindful and taking five minutes before you begin that, that activity that has caused you pain or is causing you pain, approach it in a clear state of mind. So for me, when I practice, I love to meditate. Almost always I meditate before I, my first practice session and it just clears my head. It, it, it allows me to clear my head and approach things and say, okay, I have this much time. I'm going to make the best out of it. I might not get everything done, but as long as it's done in a healthy, relaxed way in a productive way, and you know, I should be good. So I'm pretty sure I spoke really fast, uh, this podcast because Francois wasn't there to interrupt me, but I hope some of the ideas that I spoke about, um, are a bit clear. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to, uh, drop a comment below. Uh, also some news I'm working on a website right now, so that should be coming in the next few weeks. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to continue the year. You know, the year is almost, you know, we're almost first quarter is almost done. We're in mid February, pretty soon it's going to be March and then it's going to be summertime or spring at least. So a lot of good things to look forward to as, uh, COVID tends to go down, hopefully. And I'm really excited to continue doing these podcasts. So thank you guys for listening. Look forward to talking to you guys very, very soon. Take care.